Roland Hazard was a patient of Carl Jung back in the uh, early 1930s. Roland Hazard came from a very wealthy American family from the Northeast, had a big vacation home in Vermont, which will later become important. But the main thing was is that his family had unlimited resources and they were desperate to do anything to try to control his drinking because it was very clear that Roland Hazard's drinking was basically going to kill him. So they sent him to Switzerland to work with Dr. Carl Jung and just virtually gave Carl Jung a blank check. He lived with Carl Jung for several months, several intense individual sessions for a period of I believe about eight months and Carl Jung said, uh, decided that was all he could do for him and basically told him to go home. Roland Hazard basically stopped in Paris to see some friends of his and got gloriously drunk again. Dragged himself back to Carl Jung in Switzerland and Carl Jung told him, says, I'm sorry Roland, there's nothing else I can do for you. He says, I thought I could cure your neurosis, but I can't. You're an alcoholic and I'm sorry to say that you're always going to be an alcoholic and you're going to die an alcoholic. Uh, Roland Hazard, being a classic alcoholic, refused to accept it. Said, there's, you know, can't there, is there anything, something, must be something. And Carl Jung said, yes, there is a solution. For some strange reason we cannot explain, ever so often, somebody like you will have a profound religious experience that will totally change them. Immediately Roland Hazard said, oh that won't be a problem for me because I believe in this, 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 I belong to this church, so forth, so forth, and Carl Jung stopped him immediately and said, no, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm not here to criticize your beliefs, but basically your beliefs are, if anything, an obstacle to the type of experience that I'm talking about. And all I can really tell you is we can't, we don't really know what caused it or why it happens or who it happens to. We can't really explain it, but we do know that ever so often somebody will have this type of experience that will totally change them. All I can tell you is to go back to America, join a religious order, and hope for the best.